Hey guys, hello, hello, hello. It's the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick. My name is Angie and you are down on my dining room floor, kind of sort of workspace. Um, and I'm working on something and I'm down here because I am working on this. If you've been following the page, of course, you know what I'm working on, but if not, I am working on a cool dresser. So my name is Angie. I am the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick and I'm in the beautiful Rideau Lakes, Ontario, and I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture, and I'm like an obsessive crafter. Right now, what I'm working on is a dresser, and let's see if I can slide this so you can see. This is one of the drawers that I'm working on. Isn't that cool? So, that's where I am so far. So, I've moved it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see, maybe right about there. And I'm gonna get, I'm trying to give you as much view as possible in a very small space. Okay, that should work. So, I'm gonna stand up. You're not gonna see me, but that's okay. This is what's important, and here we go. Okay, so as you know, Chalk Couture makes transfers, which are like a stencil, only they come already with a sticky back. This one's already been used several times this morning. And what I do is I've painted it with chalk paint first, the drawer, and then I've already done one, but I've got to stagger them. And I don't like that they just all repeat themselves, so I kind of have to leave some out. Like here, you can see that there's some of the gold in there already. So I'm just gonna skip that one and I'm gonna move on. And then if there's spaces after I go back and I fill them. So I just, this one I am not, um, fuzzing because I've already used it like I don't know 10 times this morning <laughs> just this morning um, so and it's also picking up a bit of dust because I painted this black and I wiped it down but there is a little dust so it's kind of fuzzing itself as it goes and then I wash it off each time so that's what we do now this dresser drawer I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of got this rounded swerve thing through the front it's very pretty but it's a little harder to work with. It was really hard to sand, actually. Um, had to hand sand it because you couldn't use the, uh, the orbital sander on that angle. So I've just applied it on, rubbing my hands over it just to make sure it's stuck down pretty good. There's a few spots that I know will bubble, and that's okay. And then I'm going to go in with my gold shimmer paste. This is going to be the coolest dresser ever, I swear. And then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do these little ones first. Well, it's a big one actually, this big spot, but close to the edge because I don't want to touch the ones that already have paste or have, you know what I mean, the design underneath. So I'm just going to do the ones that are around the edge first. Just like that. And this one here, yeah, this one here is good too. Just want to make sure it's not going to be like touching, right? It's supposed to be leopard print, not camouflage. So I don't want them touching. All right. Then, just to be quicker, I just apply some wads on here. That's right, look at that. I'm just throwing it on there. This shows you just how easy it is. You can redo your dresser so easy. And don't be tossing out those old ones because like they're the ones that are built a lot sturdier than our modern ones. Then I'm gonna take my four inch squeegee. Love this thing. And just applying the paste. Now you'll see where the overhang is. It kind of leaves a little heavier and that's okay. It's not going to show up. It's just stuck on the actual transfer. In fact, I can stick my finger under there and scrape some of that back. Oop, a little shaky. Now I am going to take that back off, throw that back on there. Hope you guys can still see what I'm doing. If you can see what I'm doing okay, can you guys give me some love? Shoot me some hearts or some thumbs up. And make sure I have volume too. I didn't bring my other phone to check. Sorry, working on this, I can't really um, 
read comments at the moment, but I can see if hearts go up. Oh, good. You can hear me and you can see everything good. Awesome. Okay. Just going to slide this down a bit. But it's so quick. Other than the fact that I have to wash the transfer in between, this is going on super quick. Now, this is just chalk paste. So, first of all, you can decorate your dresser just with chalk paste. And then if you change your mind a few months down the road and you want to put a different design on your dresser, you can. And it's going to be durable. Like, this stuff dries rock hard. So I'm just saying, you can leave it and not give it a top coat. This one is going to be for sale. So, of course, I'm going to give it a top coat. But I have told my daughter that we can do some chalk couture on her dressers just to give it a little more of her own personality and it will be durable and then when she doesn't want it anymore it'll just wash off with water just take a damp cloth and you can kind of hold it there for a few minutes or spritz it with a water bottle and it'll come right off after when she's sick of it and it won't damage her finish so that was fun 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 idea just all the different ways you can use chalk couture now all this extra paste I'm not gonna waste that even though some of it is dried out as I'm going, I just throw it back in there and then I'll give it a stir and close it up and it'll be wet again for the next time. Now's the fun part. Check that out. And as it dries, I find the gold gets brighter because the first time I pulled it off and I was kind of like, oh, it's not as bright as I thought it would be. It does brighten up as it dries. So that is the top drawer for the dresser. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to get back to it. I have another little end over there to do. Um, I could probably do it live if you really wanted to watch. Uh, I'm not sure if I could. Um, I have to pick it up and turn it around and all that fun stuff. Um, but I'm just going to finish up this one and then I've got to sand the rest of the dresser and we'll be giving it a top coat and then it'll be ready for the review. So probably, hopefully tomorrow, <laughs> if the rain holds off. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I see Linda and Sue and Cindy. Thank you guys so much for watching and giving me the love. I hope you guys have a great day and find something creative to do. Okay. Bye, guys.